it going? As you can probably tell by my background, I am back in the United States. My vacation in Jordan has come to an end, unfortunately, but I do have a little thing called a job that I had to get back to. If you're new and you don't know, I am half Jordanian, half American. That's why I went back to Jordan to go visit my parents and my family and my friends and just to see the country. I love it so much. I don't get to go there enough, unfortunately, ever since I started working, but I am lucky enough to be able to go home pretty much once a year. While I was in Jordan, I ate tons of food, probably more carbs than I have eaten in the entire year because bread in Jordan is just so amazing. I had a great vacation, went to the movies with my brother, helped my dad fly his pigeons, went to cafes with my mom. We went on a mini road trip down to the Dead Sea and Mount Nebo. I had a great time, so many great memories, and one pretty terrible memory. I broke my camera while I was in Jordan. Obviously not this camera because that's what I'm filming on, but I broke my Canon G7X. My trusty little vlogging camera no longer works. I went to Paris on the way home and didn't get to have this guy, which was super upsetting, but at least I still had one camera. So here's what happened. We were at the Dead Sea getting a bunch of shots for a film that I'm working on, which will come out soon-ish, hopefully. I'm really excited about it. It's gonna take a lot of work, so it might be a little bit, but it's coming to you. Anyway, we were shooting at the Dead Sea with both my cameras, and I had this camera and my camera bag that I gave to my brother. Now, I didn't zip the camera bag, I just kind of put it in there and pulled the flap over it. Stupid mistake number one. <laughs> number two, my brother went to hand me the bag and kind of tossed it, and I missed it, and it flipped upside down, and fell onto the ground at the Dead Sea. Now the ground at the Dead Sea is rocks, like an insane amount of rocks and salt with super jaggedy edges. And when the bag was on its way down, it opened because I had not zipped it and the camera just plummeted, unprotected, screened down onto the rocks. I shattered the back of the screen. I dropped it and it just cracked in the corner, which was okay. It was alright. It still worked. The screen worked. Everything was fine. But then, then, I stupidly was like, well, this doesn't look too difficult to fix. I could probably fix it. I could just order a new screen for like 20 bucks, replace it myself. Good as new. No. No, you can't, Nadia. Why would you think you could do that? So, my dad and I decided to take out all the screws on the camera because we were like, this is easy, we can do this. We love putting stuff together. No big deal, my dad's an engineer. You can turn on the camera now, but there's there's nothing. Nothing happens on the screen. So I can't I can't do anything. I don't I don't know nothing. And then when you want to turn it off, you press a little button and it stops. It stops right here. And then you have to push it in to close. It's done. My camera's dead. I'm gonna see if I could possibly fix it. I don't know. I don't know how much work this is gonna entail. And I have two super exciting events coming up that I need both of my cameras for. Those events are Comic Con, by the way. I got press passes to go to the Kansas City Comic Con and the St. Louis Comic Con. So make sure you're subscribed to see those because it's gonna be awesome. This brings me to part two of this video. Last night I went to Best Buy and I bought the Canon G7X Mark II. This is the upgraded version of my Canon G7X. All right, so first thing in the box is paperwork. Super exciting. Warranties, manual, all this fun stuff that I will read later. What else we got in here? We have a charger and a battery. Good thing is this camera uses the same battery as my Canon G7X, which I have two of so I don't have to buy new batteries. And now the camera itself. I'm really afraid of dropping this right now. Luckily, there's carpet below me, so if it does drop, it'll be okay. This is my brand new Canon G7X Mark II. This feels a little bit bigger for some reason. I don't know why. Super shiny, this is so exciting. The screen is different on this one. So normally the Canon G7X just flips up like this. But this one also comes outward at this angle, which is pretty cool. So that gives it a little bit more versatility. Also, there's a time-lapse feature that I'm very excited about using. It's also got a really nice grip on the side, which my other one does not have. For the most part, a lot of the features are the same. There are a few things that are different, which is exciting. Got the flash right there. Also, I think I might be able to shoot slow motion on it. Not 100% sure. I will test it out. I'll throw in some test shots um, in this video so you guys can see what it's like. I have a feeling it's going to be very similar to my other camera, which is cool with some advanced features. Very excited about it. I will let you know after I've used it a little bit if it's worth upgrading or just keeping your Canon G7X. I feel better now. This is great. Can't wait to start using this. <laughs> There will 
will be more videos about Jordan coming up soon. Also, I filmed a video while I was in Paris that you guys will get to see, so make sure you're subscribed to this channel and hit that little notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. Also, I have a small favor to ask of you guys. I have a second channel, Six Hours of Daily Life, which I know I have not uploaded to in like four months, but that is changing. I am uploading more daily vlogs to it, but YouTube changed. They decided that you can no longer monetize your channel if you have less than a thousand subscribers. And unfortunately, my second channel only has like 600 and something subscribers. So I am asking you guys to please, please, please subscribe to my second channel. It would help me out a ton. I would really, really appreciate it. And in return, I will upload way more videos to that channel. I will do my best to upload to both channels quite regularly if I can. So if you could please go subscribe to Six Hours of Daily Life, I will put a little link right here that you can subscribe to. Also a link in the description box. So if you could help me out, it would be amazing. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.